Well, that was certainly an unpleasant outing. It's your own fault. I mean, what did you expect? You're right. Sorry. What are you doing? I thought I might help you out. You were busy wiping yourself off anyway. Look, it's fine. You don't have to do that. I can give you a massage as well. It's the least I can do to atone for my sins. I'm actually pretty good at this. Fine. Do what you want. All right. <clears throat> hey! You'll get used to it. What's going on YouTube? It's Prince Jimmo back here with another video. Look, taking a stroll on my ways back. Look, this vid is going to be about rewards. And this is a grass vid. You know, this is about um, primarily the King of the Ring tournament coming back. And while it's a positive that they brought it back, I'm when I first heard that they brought it back, I was, yeah, fuck yeah, they brought it back. They finally listened to us. But then, when I learned that the reward of the King of the Ring tournament was just going to be um, a trophy. Kind of like, you know how they do the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal? And all you get is a trophy. You don't get nothing else. You just get a trophy and bragging rights. You may as well be playing Super Smash Bros. with your boys college man if that's all you get but that's all you get man you know see for me personally and I actually I tweeted this question to my guys but hands down when you ask uh, fans who were the best king of the ring winners that you remember Brock Lesnar almost automatically pops up in cat's heads in uh, Austin and the third one is usually a toss-up between either Brett or Triple H. Because those guys actually, all three of those guys actually went on to become WWE slash World Heavyweight Champions. So it makes the King of the Ring more meaningful. In an older video I did, which is um, about the traditional way of building a champion, has basically been lost upon today's wrestling product. And I get that, okay, you know. New day, new times, you, you got to evolve with it, but it's like, man, WWE is worse at moving forward in racial relations. Y'all motherfuckers take one step forward and a hundred steps backwards with every fucking thing sometimes. Um, as far as the, um, the new Ma Naomi vid, that one's coming later. I need to see more of the new Naomi before I make a vid about what I saw. I can't just look at, you know, new interest music and sunglasses. I need to see more character before I do an analysis of what I think um, she's going to turn out to be, if they're going to ruin her. But I got a vid coming on uh, Sasha Banks, for you Sasha Banks fans. But to go back on what I'm talking about, as far as King of the Ring, I think that I don't remember what year it was, but Whatever year it was that Lesnar won it, and he was getting pushed to the moon. And the reward for winning King of the Ring, you got the bragging rights, yeah, you got all that. But at the same time, what you also got, hold on, put my phone in my pocket. At the same time, you got um, a world heavyweight title shot at SummerSlam, which made the match. Ultimately, feel more meaningful. You know, fans were more uh, into it. You know, you had, I think it was RVD and uh, Lesnar in the finals. And, you know, people were jumping up and down because, oh shit, RVD finally might get a shot. Every time get a shot, you know, all these guys who you would want in there. So, what it did. It pushed up the um, value of the world title while at the same time made the tournament feel more important than it used to be. You know, before you were just sitting on the throne. But now what they've done with it is they've made the King of the Ring tournament a comedy act thanks to 
King Booker and uh, King Sheamus. What they do is you win the tournament, and then the, the night after, it becomes a, a gimmick for you because creative has nothing else for you at the time, I guess, you know. I'm not in creative, I don't know, but that's just the overall impression I get as a fan. It's like, you know, you can't just, he's the king of the ring, let him win some goddamn matches. This dude's a bad motherfucker. He can go from there. Which is kind of sort of what they do, but it becomes more of a gimmick to win the tournament. Rather than to win it and it actually really fucking means something. Um, also, so far, the only um, tournament-like gimmick match that means something is Money in the Bank. I would like to personally, and, and the Royal Rumble, but personally, I would like to see the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal have more of a better reward than just a trophy, and then your Tyson Kids Tag Team Partner Award, you're in a feud with the flavor of the week Roman Reigns that you're inevitably going to lose. And I'm sure that a lot of people feel that same way. Um, what else? I can't think of anything else qualifying to do. Even um, they could take Survivor Series and make that into something where maybe the winning team gets something more valuable than just being able to brag and say, hey, we won, we beat you, we beat you. You know, something better than that. Because one of the biggest issues that the E is having right now is um, reestablishing the importance of championships. So why not take those matches that they do and make them mean more by adding title stipulations to them, you know? I'm just saying. Survivor Series is a bit tricky, but I think Survivor Series should also have some future championship implications attached to it, rather than you just win and you get to brag about it. And that's all I got, really. You know, if you figure out what you want, the implications to be for each match, maybe the Andre Giant Battle Royale should be a IC US title match if you think it should be something else. Leave a comment. Tweet me, whatever. I'm out.